Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the weather warnings as we do have a warning in for snow across northern Scotland and then we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run looking at the five day precipitation temperature so it's looking very lively over the next few days with snow in the north and potentially coming further southwards over the next coming days we've got potential for heavy thundery or squally showers tomorrow and widespread colder temperatures as Arctic air does return. Then we'll have a look at the mid range, have a look at the GFS, GM, Eastern JF, and the GFS and Eastern JF ensembles. As although it looks colder in the next five to seven days, we're seeing a potential signal for high pressure to start to return again from the south, maybe turning things a little bit milder or maybe warmer for the second half of April. Just hints, uh, but it's something we need to keep an eye on. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So we do start on the live radar. You can see at the moment we have heavy precipitation moving into the north. Further southwards it is dry, but there is quite a lot of cloud around, so it's not amazing. But temperatures getting up towards the low teens, maybe 14, 15 degrees in a few spots. But there is a very strong temperature gradient. You can see snow is falling over the path far north and northeast of Scotland, even to low-lying areas as well, as we do have cold air from the northeast pushing up against this um, weather front now i wouldn't take these precipitation types too seriously some of this green will be falling as snow some of this blue snow is probably falling as rain and there's probably areas of mixing as well but there will be images going around of heavy snowfall in these regions and this will continue over the coming hours and potentially turn even more extensive as temperatures start to drop a little bit as we head towards the evening elsewhere very heavy rain pushing in and this rain is going to progress eastwards with this uh, with the center of the low pressure system eventually swinging through and that's going to bring in behind these weather fronts very heavy squally showers to many uh, central and southern areas tomorrow that could be thundery maybe some thunderstorms within it um but for many it'll probably just be some very heavy rain squally winds maybe even some hail as well uh, sort of typical April showers regime where one minute it's torrential pouring rain the next minute a little bit of warmer sunshine so that is all uh, all for tomorrow but if we do actually have a look at the temperatures you can see uh, in the south we can see these yellows a little bit warmer getting up towards mid-teens further northwards you can see big strong temperature gradient Glasgow potentially sort of low teens uh, maybe like 12 13 degrees but pop across the far north and northeast more towards freezing or low single digits and this is this big temperature contrast and this cold air is going to sink southwards but it's going to take its time maybe a couple days before all areas are in it um, by sort of maybe Thursday time um, returning all areas colder with more frosts again so do have a look at the weather warning we had a look at this warning yesterday it was from 6 a.m today until 10 p.m this evening snow may cause some disruption across scotland through tuesday before clearing northwards two to five centimeters above 100 to 200 meters perhaps 10 centimeters above 300 meters so again likely over the highest ground and you can see a general area that is where we're seeing the snow on the live radar so continued snow there um, and it should turn back to rain eventually um, as milder air does try and push in um, over the course of tomorrow before it does cold air sweep southwards once again through tomorrow evening into thursday so a bit of a complicated scenario very much up and down temperatures there will be snow for some that will quickly melt and then potentially reaccumulate again when uh, it turns back to snow potentially through thursday so yeah very very complex scenario but of course this is april so it is difficult to get snow uh, if this of course was in sort of january time i'm sure more of this would have been snow with colder temperatures around so yeah just something we need to keep an eye on uh, but this stage probably the heaviest snow has fallen um, and it is now just some areas still seeing some more snow coming over the coming hours before uh, 10 p.m and the sort of warning does st start to dissipate and the snow risk does diminish so do have a look at the precipitation and temperature from the uk met office run now you can see that snow across the north falling across this morning and then you can see as i'm recording this video still heavy snow around but should decrease over course of the evening as that weather front pushes northwards bringing milder air for all uh, but still could be some heavier snow over the coming hours and behind it heavy showers pushing through and tomorrow you can see these heavy thunder showers progressing through even to southern areas you can see squally line of rain here very heavy potentially thundery along that and widespread showers around that some 
wintry but most are going to be rain um with potentially some hail within it as well as there's going to be some big cumulonimbus clouds out there tomorrow some real stunning cloudscapes but of course will be accompanied by torrential rain strong gusty winds and there is even the potential for seeing some more um, sort of organized thunderstorms uh, and potentially even some sort of funnel clouds out there as well so beyond that those showers do clear through and you can just see widespread heavy showers thundery showers they continue further northwards through wednesday evening for slowly diminishing away and through wednesday evening to early hours of thursday you can see all that precipitation starts to turn back to snow across northern scotland as it spreads southwards and you can see more heavier precipitation turning to snow even sort of in the midlands area into northern england and then all areas in a more northerly airflow pretty dry northerly airflow with winter showers exclusively really to scotland but it's going to be cold um, and we're going to continue with that regime through friday showers around once again turning potentially wintry and through saturday still chilly with a northerly airflow and showers along the north and eastern coasts before saturday evening into sunday we start seeing a weather front arrive from the southwest starting to bring back some potentially much milder air once again from the southwest but there could be some snow on its leading edge as well so if you have a look at max temperatures at the moment, you can see freezing across parts of northeast Scotland earlier this morning, elsewhere 10, 11 degrees. And this afternoon, you can see temperatures still around freezing across northern and northeastern Scotland, but across southern Scotland, 9, 10 degrees. And across central southern England, 13, 14 degrees. Of course, this evening temperatures will, will not drop too much into the mid to high single digits for many. Uh, Scotland still really cold and through tomorrow afternoon, widely 12, 13 degrees in the south few degrees colder than that further northwards um, and through Wednesday evening to early as of Thursday you can see very cold in the north as that cold air does spread southwards many areas more towards freezing and for all areas on Thursday it is chillier widely seven to nine degrees maybe the ice is 10 or 11 in the far south and through Thursday evening it's going to be cold into early hours of Friday widely towards freezing um, if not a little bit colder than that for some and that will continue the theme into Friday, another chilly day, widely 8 to 10 degrees, feeling colder than that, especially along the northern and eastern coast, maybe 11 or 12 degrees in the far south, but still chilly with uh, the wind chill moving in. And then Saturday, once again, a widespread frost. Saturday afternoon, cold once again, 9 to 12 degrees. And then again, a frost in the north and the east through Sunday. Could be very cold across Scotland, but milder air is pushing up from the southwest, and you can see that with the upper air temperatures. Uh, very cold air has will be in place for a lot of the end of this working week and then by the end of the weekend you can see this real warm air mild air sort of 10 degree temperature boost if not higher than that 10 to 15 degree temperature boost coming in from the southwest so we do now run through the gfs gm and ecm wf for the next uh next couple of weeks now you can see we have a generally westerly flow at the moment with this low pressure system developing across scotland and that's bringing all this rain and snow as it does develop it starts to drag in cold air behind it and that spreads into all areas through thursday northerly wind for thursday really quite cold you see a bit of a slightly tracking jet stream there with low pressure systems that we thought could bump into the colder air maybe produce more widespread snowfall but those weather fronts are going to hang to our south. Uh, well, at, at least that looks like the most likely scenario at the moment. We stay in this northerly flow all the way into the weekend before we see that weather front arrive from the far southwest. Putting up southerly winds could be quite mild, in fact, with that temporary milder, warmer push. Before, as we head towards day 10 and beyond, high pressure does build back in, turning things perhaps a little bit milder. But, again, with a sort of an easterly flow and cold air that has been sort of lingering around, it's not going to feel massively mild or warm and if we do get warmer temperatures in the day most likely we'll still see a bit of an inversion at night so perhaps 15 to 17 degrees in the day but only like five degrees at night so it is something we need to keep an eye on now if we do have a look at the upper air temperatures see what they're showing over the next couple of weeks you can see mild at the moment cold air wrapping in from the north beyond that really chilly and then we start to see a real warm push potentially for next Tuesday, Wednesday, and we do eventually start to pull in more of an easterly flow, chillier air flows, and high pressure still over the top of the UK. Milder upper temperatures, but as I said, could be an inversion in place for that, uh, so we have to keep an eye on that, of course. So if you do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare, you can see again, westerly winds at the moment, northerly winds wrapping around that, and we stay in that northerly flow before high pressure builds back in with its southerly air flow for next Monday, Tuesday, potentially a little bit milder for high pressure does build back in but you can see the flow is generally of an easterly so it is going to be chilly still if you look at the upper air temperatures you can see again at the moment 
pretty chilly with a northerly flow and then low pressure running up from the south potentially bringing much warmer air in before we do see high pressure build back in it does have warm upper air temperatures as i said but generally along that east coast with that cold air still lingering towards scandinavia it could still hamper those temperatures significantly um, and we could see an inversion again overnight so even though it does look decent uh, and we'll see the ensembles in a minute a lot of them have quite warm upper air temperatures it may not be a hundred percent accurate of what we're going to see on the surface uh some of our prayer temperatures we may see on the ensembles in a minute will show uh the chances of sort of 15 to 20 degrees widely but perhaps also the surface may see 15 degrees in a few spots in the day but overnight it more likely will be much lower than that with more um inversion taking place but of course this is sort of day 10 time frame so it's very uncertain in this longer term we can still see a big change as high pressure heads for the north it's a bit more of an easterly flow could be even chillier so do have a look at the ECBF front, see how that does compare. Again, low pressure developing with that northerly wind coming in for Thursday, Friday time. High pressure does topple. That's where we're going to see quite frosty, but cold day on Saturday before low pressure running up, bringing southerly winds, warm air incorporated with that, so heavy rain on the initial weather front and potentially some thundery showers behind that. And we can see that low pressure does eventually dissipate. High pressure does start to come in from the south. But have a look at those upper air temperatures, warm air there, and that could be quite a warm scenario. You can see the high pressure sinting further southwards, more of a southwest, southwest, westerly breeze, sorry. Um, further northwards could be more cloud and precipitation, but further southwards could be quite dry and warm. So it is all depending on that positioning of the high pressure. Even though if, if it's over the top of the UK, yes, it will be a bit drier and less cloudy, but perhaps will be a little bit chillier in the day uh, and especially in the evenings as well. But we would see plenty of sunshine, so it would be feel pretty decent from sort of 10 to sort of 5 p.m but either side of that it will feel chilly with a bit of an inversion as soon as that sun does set so we need to keep an eye on it in the longer term it's it's just there is definitely a signal for higher pressure returning which is very good as i know a lot of people will want some dry weather whether it is very warm or just mild or just average sort of conditions i know a lot of people would prefer high pressure dry conditions to what we have now so hopefully this signal does continue and we do see something a little bit drier for the second half of april so do have a look at the ensembles from the gfs first you can see of average to above average at the moment and it's dropping away massively by thursday down towards minus five at 850 hpa around five degrees below average for a good three or four days all the way to sunday and then we see a rapid rise to around five degrees above average uh, we continue above average for the foreseeable future still decent precipitation signal but not crazy high so low pressure around but perhaps not completely in control especially further southwards um, so there is a signal for high pressure building in in the longer term but at this stage no crazy signals and of course there is a lot of uh, uh, chopping and changing with the air mass you can see some going very warm some going much colder as well so we have to keep an eye on that although the operational runs have all showed higher pressure building in there's no guarantees uh, but at the moment the, the only things we can say for certain is it's cold turning colder much colder for all for the end of this week and then potentially turning much milder once again towards the end of the weekend and start of next week and if we do have a look at the two meter temperatures just to compare you can see widely sort of 8 to 10 degrees for the end of this week and then potentially by start next week getting more towards mid-teens once again but with precipitation around it may feel chilly than that if we do have the ecmwf run uh, and we do have a look at the upper air temperatures from the midnight run a little bit more smoothed out because of course there are more uh, ensembles you can see um pretty uh mild at the moment turning much much colder down towards minus five at 850 hpa and then a big rise from all ensemble members so ecmdf is very sure on it turning much much milder from next sunday and monday time and remaining milder than average pretty much majority of the runs bar from just a few um are well above average really so ecmdf run is very br bullish or the ensembles are very bullish on it being pretty warm indeed uh mild at least and there is a decreased precipitation signal as well so perhaps the ecmdf run uh, and its ensembles are favoring a little bit of a warmer milder spell for the second half or at least the middle third of april something we do need to keep an eye on and of course if we do have a look at the two meter temperatures um, over the next couple of weeks you can see in the longer term although only sort of 8 to 10 degrees for the end of this coming week getting up towards 15 to 20 degrees on a lot of the ensemble members some even getting towards the mid-20s 
by sort of 17th to 20th of April. So it is something we need to keep an eye on the longer term. It is very far away, and we do have to dismiss it as anything concrete at this stage. But it has increased, uh, and it is def a def def definitive signal today. Um, and we'll have to, you know, just keep an eye on it. But some signs of something maybe drier and maybe warmer for the middle third or end or, or second half really of april but the, for, for the time being a lot of heavy rain around a lot of heavy squally thundery showers tomorrow to keep an eye out for make sure you do bring your coat and the brolly tomorrow if you are going out and it will be turning much colder for all from thursday all the way to sunday with a lot of cooler conditions it should be still sunny and generally bright in the day but it will feel chilly with quite hard overnight frosts for most so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed make sure you stay safe out there uh, and i'll see you again for another video soon